Have you ever wondered what made up every living organism like us? Or how we come to coexist with other living organisms as well as those without life at all? To answer this, let us describe the different levels of biological organization from cell to biosphere. stone like this is used in many ways. When these stones are combined with other materials, it can build a house. A more detailed analogy goes like this. A stone, when combined with other materials, can create a hollow block. A hollow block, when combined with others, can build a wall. The wall, together with the floor, ceiling, many more and form the kitchen. And the kitchen, together with the living room, bedroom, and others, will have. This analogy is like the biological levels of organization starting from cell up to biosphere. Do you want to learn how the levels of biological organization works? To do this, let us examine this picture and write your answers in your observation. In this episode, we will learn more about the different levels of biological organization. Let us start with the basic unit of life called the cell. The cell is the smallest independently functioning unit of a living organism. A cell can regulate its internal environment, take in and use energy, respond to its environment, and develop and maintain its complex organization. When the cells in our body stop working, then we will die in the process. So keep our body healthy for the cells to work properly, okay? Similar cells in structure and functions are usually linked together to form a tissue. A tissue is the second level of the biological organization. Quite contrary to the belief that blood is a cell, it is a tissue composed of a variety of cells, each functioning at the different job. The tissues are further organized to form an organ. It is an anatomically distinct structure composed of two or more types of tissues working together. Our heart, for example, is an organ that is made up of muscle and nerve tissues. You are probably familiar with the other names of several body organs. We have the brain, the lungs, the intestine, the skin, and many more. Like cells and tissues, organs really work by itself. Organs, in a way, collaborate with other organs and perform a specific function. These organs form an organ system. Examples of organ system are the following. Organ system is a group of organs working together to perform a specific function for the organism. The best example of an organism is you. An organism is an individual living thing that may be made up of one or more organ systems that carries out all the basic life functions, though there are living things composed of one cell only. There are also levels of biological organization larger than the individual organism. To study this illustration, to give you an overview of what they are, write them in your observation notes. When organisms of the same kind called species come together, they form a population. They live together in the same area, usually forming bond or relationship with one another to create human life. The entire array of populations that live in the same location make up a community. It consists of different populations of organisms living in the same area. When the community interacts with its physical environment, which includes water, air, sunlight, soil, rock, and minerals, form an ecosystem. An ecosystem consists of all the living things in each area. The 
together with the non-living things. A group of similar ecosystems with the same type of physical environment is called a biome. Examples of biome are shown in the next page. Lastly, many different biomes form the biosphere. The biosphere is the part of our planet where all life exists, including all the environments on Earth that support life. This includes regions of land, bodies of water, and the lower portion of the atmosphere. Thus, one of the seven environmental principles say, everything is connected to everything else, right? Let us apply what you have learned in this lesson. For learning task 1, study the event diagram. Complete it using the different terms presented inside the box. Use only the code given each term. The first term must done for you to serve as an example. Copy the entire diagram and write your complete answers in your answer sheet. For learning task 2, complete the given table that presents the levels of biological organization. Provide the necessary information and illustrations required for each column. Copy the table in your answer sheet and write the complete answers. Challenge your understanding of the levels of biological organization, specifically human bodies organization. Complete the following analogies. An example is that for you. Write a three-sentence reflection after this lesson in your observation notes. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, One Cycle. To like the videos and hit the bell button for updates. I hope you learned today's lesson. In the next episode, we will differentiate plant and animal cells based on the presence or absence of certain organelles. This is Sir Leonard Piano, your science teacher. See you all next time.